Where are we going, Amy? That's <laughs> It's a beautiful area, apparently, so we're gonna check it out. I see our train arriving. Are you feeling better? He yeah. Asked. Uh huh. I'm not sure what the movie did before, but I felt I heard about 50 bones crack. We caught up with DJ William from 1.7. Hi guys. And he's gonna show us around Dodge Bay a little bit here. The little eggs you see right there, they like marinated over and over again for like 20 times, and the egg shrinks it. Shrink felt like you know uh, little little eggs. And it's very uh, hard on the outside, and it's it's rather tasty. And the other thing that this store is famous for is the fish cracker right here. When people think of Taiwan, they also think of pop star, pop star J. Cho. Yes, J. Cho. You have something to tell us about that? Well, J. Cho basically went to school around that area. So uh, there is actually a snack shop here, Sir J. Cho Sen. The J. Cho fried chicken set. The Wonton fried chicken set. Basically, it's a bowl of Wonton soup with a piece of fried chicken leg. Doesn't sound very exciting. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> What's that expression? J. Cho. <laughs> Check out those ice cream cones. Yeah, they're like are really, really tall ice cream cones. Basically, all ice cream spring, spring roll. So you know they they made uh, ice cream. I mean they made spring roll using ice cream with uh, some uh, peanut powder and cilantro. So it's you know it's quite interesting. You guys can give it a try with while you are here as well. Right here, I'm gonna eat it right now. Okay, so that closes up our quick tour through the Danchue area. Uh, we're gonna say goodbye to DJ William. Right. And Although the weather is not perfect, but we had a little fun here. Right? Yeah, it's always good to see you. Yeah, so, take care, you guys. All right, and we're gonna move on to our next stop in back in Taipei. The next part of our tour actually takes us back to Taipei and we're catching up with our friend Janet who is now in the middle of a photo shoot. There she is, Janet Shea. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Don't forget me. No, so now we're going to actually take some time and talk to Janet. My buddy That's from Texas. Alice who was in the video from yesterday, if you remember? Oh, our little teaser video from the video clip before this. There she is. Yeah. Alright, so. Bagi, hello. How about we see her? Sure. Alright. So you're tight and you're a little bit further back. Alright. Expecting and stuff. I know, we're going to try a couple things today. This is a pro. Yeah, yeah. One of the first few times that we'll do this one. Okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's Hochi with TaiwaneseAmerican.org. Um, if you remember, earlier in the year we did a video with Janet Shea, host of the Travel and Discovery show Fun Taiwan, now on the TLC channel. Is that correct? Yeah, Discovery yeah. Travel and Living, TLC. And it, and it happened to be one of the most popular videos. So, <laughs> back then we were actually in the States, yeah. and now I'm visiting Taipei. He couldn't get enough of me. Exactly. <laughs> right now, off to dinner to a contemporary Taiwanese restaurant, and looks like we have our little entourage of friends having dinner with our American and Australian friends. Say hi everybody! Hey! Hi! Hi! Hello! Hello! As 
all may know, Hello Kitty is really popular in not only Taiwan, but all of Asia, and spread to other parts of the world. In Taipei, we have discovered this store, Hello Kitty Sweets, where every single dessert is adorned with our favorite friendly face of Hello Kitty. All of our chairs are Hello Kitty's face. The entire store is pink. It's like a nine-year-old girl's wonderland. We're gonna try some of these desserts and see how it lives up to Hello Kitty's fame. Um, well, I'd like to know Hello Kitties. Is Taiwan one of the greatest places in the world? And they concur. Thank you very much. Hi, so it's my last day in Taipei and Amy and I have decided to take it a little bit easy. We're here at a little cafe near the Shoda campus area and just getting a little dessert before I head off to the airport. You know, I've always been a proud Taiwanese American, but coming back to Taiwan has just really given me a different perspective on um, what it means to explore your own identity, culture, your roots, and uh, I've really developed a greater appreciation for everything here, including the people, the places, um, just the overall experiences. You know, I've been lucky because I've had friends who've been here all along, just taking me around, and it's been a fun time. Um, but what I've also realized is that anyone can come here. Whether you have language skills or not, it's really easy to get around. I hope some of you have enjoyed my series of uh, casual travel video vlogs all throughout this trip. Um, I'm headed back to the States, um, and I hope some of you will take the opportunity to come visit Taiwan when you have the chance. Uh, but for now, I'll see you later. Bye! Bye.